Well, things are going so far. So are you settled in, have a house, or are you still getting used to things in Corvallis? Get in there, get in there. Um, got a house, we're in the process of remodeling, so we're, we haven't moved in yet. Um, we're still in temporary housing, but I've got the family out here. My kids have started school. They're over at Adams mm -hmm. here in, in Corvallis. And um, yeah, so we're, we're slowly getting settled in, um, but family's really enjoying Corvallis and had some sunny days, you know, the last couple of weeks, which has been awesome. What's the Corvallis atmosphere like versus Colorado? Um, well, I think there's positives, there's positives uh, to both. I, the thing I've, I've noticed um, here is there's really a, just a true focus on OSU. I mean, any restaurant that you're going to in town, I mean, it's, it's got OSU yeah. memorabilia and, and uh, I mean, you, you can't go anywhere without seeing someone with an Oregon State sweatshirt or something like that. So it's, it's the, the, the support and the college town atmosphere, I think, has really stood out to me. Coming here and getting a chance to coach with Jonathan, what was his pitch to you and getting you to come be a part of his staff? <laughs> Uh, you know, it took place over a couple of different conversations, and, and I, I think the, the biggest thing for me was just his vision, uh, you know, for Oregon State and the way he saw uh, his vision, I guess, for the program moving forward, how he wanted to do things, how he wanted to get there, um, and, and that really, and I guess his passion for Oregon State and his opportunity to come back here. Um, so that, that really excited me, and just to be a part of it with him, and I'd gotten to know him through the years and had a, had a really huge amount of respect for what he did you know at, at Boise State and, and Washington with coach Peterson and um, just felt like I could come here and contribute and also learn and, and kind of develop um, as, as a coach and, and learn a lot from him. As you kind of hit the ground running here and start to get to know players what is your coaching philosophy and what are you going to be implementing as players? Um, I think as a coach, I always see myself as a teacher. Um, and I, I try to coach guys the way that I wanted to be coached. Um, and, and that's ex explaining, you know, hey, what did you see? And this, this is how I, wa I want to be really detailed in the way that I explain things um, and present things. Um, and really try to make things as simple as I can for those guys so they can just go out and react and go play football, not have to, you know, be paralyzed and thinking too much. Um, so I, I think just being a, you know, detailed teacher would be the way that I kind of sum up my philosophy. You can't be active right now with live balls and things like that, but what are you guys working on through the walkthroughs and things like that? Um, yeah, we, we've been able to spend a little bit of time in the classroom um, with the players, kind of, you know, talking some football, and, which has been nice. And, and then uh, they've been spending a lot of time in the weight room with Coach Mack and his staff, um, just working on strength and, and speed and conditioning and all that stuff, getting ready for spring. And then we've had the opportunity to go do a little bit of some stuff, not a football yet, kind of a football out there, but, um, you know, teach some, some base fundamentals and some, some do some individual drills. Which It's been good to get to know the guys, but frustrating at the same time that you can't have a football out there. So I think we're eager on both sides, coaches and players, to kind of get out there and, and get rolling with the spring football. Evaluating your quarterbacks and the talent you have there, you obviously have Jake Luton returning and then you have some other younger talent. What do you see out of those guys? Um, well, I haven't seen a ton yeah, yet. I've seen, film, you know, like from that. film, yeah. I, I got a chance to watch, um, you know, Jake obviously last, last season at the beginning uh, of the year and, and uh, I thought uh, I thought he did some really good things. He's I think he's got a really strong arm on on uh, on film and and did some good things and um, you know got injured pretty early to where I think he was still learning and developing. You know, it hadn't really hit his stride last season. So I'm I'm excited for the opportunity to work with him and um, the other quarterbacks as well. I think those guys are really the thing I've noticed is those guys are really hungry. They're eager to learn. Um, so I'm just excited for the opportunity to work with them in spring football. Is your focus with those guys going to be more on fundamentals, or where is your focus going to be like with them on spring football? Uh, both, both. I think that the thing is uh, that we really want you really want to have a good fundamental focus and get the, the core things of what it takes to play and be successful at quarterback taught um, as we go through spring. But at the same time, there's got to be a healthy amount of scheme as well, and and you know it's a it's a fine mix of the the two, you know, balance of the two, and, um, you know, we want, we want to challenge them by putting in our, our offense, and, um, but at the same time, we, we want to be fundamentally sound. Building this offense, where do you want to take it over spring ball, and where do you want this team to grow? Um, you know, I, I think we want to be pretty general with what we put in uh, at, the, at the beginning, and, and pretty basic, and like I said, really emphasize the fundamentals. 
and then get a feel for kind of the personnel that we that we have and where our strengths are and um, you know whether that be more receiver or tight end running back we just don't don't know we have some ideas but get a feel for the personnel and then I think the offense will be kind of tweaked you know geared towards that and I think that's that's our our job as an offensive staff is to be able to put our playmakers in a position to be successful um, and and that's what we'll do is as we move through spring and we kind of identify our playmakers a little bit on the recruiting trail you have the interesting perspective of you've recruited against Oregon State and now yeah. you're going to recruit <laughs> for Oregon State what are some things you're saying to guys when you're in their living rooms uh, you know I think this is a this is a I mean there's a lot of good things about this place to sell and I think uh, it starts with just the atmosphere of the college town um, and you can you can feel it when when guys are up here on official visits you can feel it when guys are uh, walking into restaurants they're walking downtown they're coming out of the hotel there's people with Oregon State stuff and um, there's it seems like there's always some sort of athletic event going on in Corvallis um, on campus and so I think that's that's a great deal and I think it's a um, you know it's a good school uh, great college town environment and and uh, I think it's a pretty easy sell awesome thank you for your time